Do you want to know how we had the Spectrum Geek Solar House set up? Well, here we go. On the main house, we have 30 Pimar solar panels. Each of these are 300 watts, giving us a nine kilowatt solar array. These are mounted on the roof at a 30 degree angle facing 120 degrees southeast so we get a good collection of the sun throughout the day. On the back of each of these panels is a solar edge PV power optimizer giving us more energy, increased efficiency and monitoring of each individual panel. These all connect back to a solar edge 6 kilowatt HD wave inverter and we also have the solar edge energy meter with Modbus which gives us slightly more accurate meter readings and the ability to limit our export values if needed. People often ask, how come you only have a six kilowatt inverter when you have a nine kilowatt solar array? Well, actually it's more efficient to have a smaller inverter than the size of your solar array. And currently solar edge supports a 200% oversizing, which means our six kilowatt inverter is perfect for our nine kilowatt solar array. You need the inverter to convert the solar DC energy into AC usable energy within your home. We also have the Tesla Powerwall 2 with the original generation one gateway, which means we don't have any backup capability at all. So if the grid goes out, then regardless of solar or battery, we currently can't live off grid. The Tesla Powerwall 2 is a 14 kilowatt hour battery storage and has 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. Inside the Powerwall 2 is a five kilowatt inverter that provides continuous peak power to our house so we can heat things on the hob, turn the cooker on, run the dishwasher, and not have to rely on any surplus from the grid. We also have various My Energy products. So we have the My Energy Hub. This provides remote control and monitoring to the various My Energy devices, such as the Zappi and the Eddy. We also have the My Energy Harvey. This provides wireless CT clamp connectivity to the Zappi and Eddy, so we don't have to have the trouble of running cables directly to those devices, which are some distance away from our main electricity connection. We have the Generation 1 Zappi. This provides us with seven kilowatts of EV charging to our cars, as well as automatic solar diversion, so we can redirect solar uh, when the battery is full from the house to charge the car, as well as heat hot water with our Generation 1 Eddy which provides heat via a three kilowatt immersion heater. When we're not running from our own solar setup, obviously we need to rely on the grid for both electricity and gas. And we're with Octopus Energy, who I joined back in 2018. They're definitely not perfect, but they're one of the best energy suppliers I've ever had the pleasure of working with, I guess, or paying my energy bills to. And I'm currently on the Octopus Go tariff, which means during their off-peak time, I'm only paying a fraction of the amount to charge my car, heat my hot water, and obviously charge up the power wall. So that off-peak is between half past midnight and half past four every morning. If you are considering changing that electricity supplier, I do recommend you check out Octopus Energy. And if you decide to use the link in the description, or as you see on the screen right now, both you and I will get 50 pounds credited to your account on joining. So that's it, the Spectrum Geeks Solar House.